How are you doing dogs? Today I'm going to be walking through my process of adding audio to this GIF. So first of all, I found the GIF on Reddit. I'll post the links to the guy's Reddit account below and then here he is here. He does all this really cool motion design stuff so check it out if you're interested. I found the GIF and I thought it would be really cool to add some sound to it so I kind of had to figure out the environment that I wanted to create for it and the different kind of sounds I wanted to use. It was pretty glitchy so I knew I wanted to use some staticky sounds and stuff like that so I started off by throwing in sound of like cassette ambience noise from Splice and then I added some like electromagnetic frequency, I think is what it was called, just some other ambient sounds off the of splice. So then I went in and went through like the whole GIF and marked out these different spots where like big shifts happened or big glitches happened. So after I had those marked, I just went in and roughly put some different chunks of that electromagnetic sample in and it just got some interesting glitches where I wanted them. I then went in and added different effects to different little samples, little bits so that it didn't sound too uniform the whole thing. Then there was this one spot in the GIF where the camera perspective kind of shifts a little bit and then it snaps back into place when it glitches. So I wanted to highlight that with like a sound happening in the background that hinted at some shifting. So I just found this weird sample. I ended up layering it up with another sound later that was also pretty weird just to give it an even fuller sound. I also added some reverb and some wider effects to the different sounds and automated those as well to give the room more of a feel so when the camera was closer maybe the wider effect wasn't as wide and the reverb was a little tighter and then when the camera backs out it makes everything sound bigger so it actually feels like there's a shift in that perspective and then at the beginning of the gif there were these cuts in that different angles that it was being shot at so i wanted to highlight those too i didn't want to highlight each one because there were a lot of cuts so i found the big changes in the different angles and i highlighted those with some different glitch sound effects i have this whole sample pack of that i found of all these different like 8-bit sounds and I just put different ones in different spots and put different effects on them so they all had a different quality to them. I wanted some musical element almost in the background so I added this really long pad sample that kind of plays the whole time. It does evolve and change during different parts. Not very melodic or anything but it has a nice haunting atmosphere to it so that kind of added to the ambience of the room. And then on that sound I also automated a filter sweep on it so it kind of makes like a popping sound like a TV changing channel or something like that to kind of further enhance that glitched out technology feel. And then there was another part later in the sample that really shakes a lot more violently than some of the other sections. So I wanted to highlight that by making it sound like it was like a static shock or something. So I took this little part of a really fast repeated sample and I made it even faster and I just duplicated a bunch that so kind of had this like this shaking electrocution feel to it. Pushed that pretty far in the background too. So you can't hear it too much, but it does add this different quality to that one part so the whole thing doesn't sound too uniform. The whole struggle with this really was trying to find different ways to make the different samples and the different pops and glitches and stuff sound different while all staying somewhat cohesive so it didn't sound like totally different sounds. That was pretty much it. It was a lot of fine tuning and a lot of making certain parts sound just right and making it how I wanted it. But yeah, so I encourage you to try this kind of thing out. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely different than some of the other things that I've done and it, it was a nice challenge. Be sure to check out the person who made the original GIF. This is his credit account here. He's got some really cool stuff. Be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. A bit of a weird video this time, but if you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like. If you hated it, hit a dislike. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.